Hello my beautiful besties, it's the girl Nelly. If you're part of my nail crew, welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now and become part of my amazing nail crew. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my natural nails. This is what three weeks of growth looks like. And I figure I would do a video showing you the prep and um, everything I do when I do my natural nails. Since I usually, usually kind of see when I do um, other sets but this is in fact the second video I'll be doing uh, my natural nails and I figure it might be helpful for anyone out there who likes to do hard gel overlay so um, again this is what three weeks of growth looks like and I'm pretty proud because I don't have much lifting if any so for the most part these are the products that you're going to need um, I chose to use the Lisette Gel Nails products, which is what I use on my natural nails. I am completely in love and I'm going to do a color change. So for today's video, I'm going to use Brown Orchid. And as you can see on my natural nails, I have pink. So since it's fall season and we're gonna do more dark uh, sets because of Halloween season as well, I chose to go with this beautiful color so you're going to need the brushes obviously i'm going to be using lisette's uh gel nails number four brush and um that is going to be used for the application of the product and this poly gel brush that i have here i only have it just so that i can clean my cuticles you're going to need a nail art brush to help you with the application your cuticle pusher for the prep and also some icy purple alcohol that i have um, right here next to me in case i have to do any cleaning so let's get started bestie so the first thing i'm gonna do is i need to cut my nails down um, and this is just because i like to keep them short um so that i can do you know i guess longer nails. i don't know Honestly, I don't know why I like them short, Ma mainly for work. Um, the reason why I like having my nails done is because when I used to do the pop-off method and I did not have my nails done, was because my nails were always looking really crusty and really bad. So um, yeah, I decided um, I might as well just do some overlay on my nails and I can just still do the pop-off method just on top of the extension of the I'm sorry, not, not extension of the product that I have on my natural nails. So right now, what you're going to see me do is remove the, cut, not remove, cut, the, I can't speak today, <laughs> cut the length down. So after that, I'm going to start by removing the product. So nail, doing your nails is considered art. Like every artist, you need a clean canvas. So what I'm doing is I'm just removing the product that I have since I'm going to be changing the color. I'm going to, um, like I said, remove the product as far down as I can. Um, I do this with my e-file, but I also use my hand file. Um, just right just before it gets really really thin um, I start using my hand file so that I don't burn myself or I don't create any indentations or something like that because I am using the e-file but I'm not completely fully trained <laughs> I am self-taught and you know it's not a perfect you know thing for me to do to do a, a, a perfectly uh, a removal of the product without you know any lumps or whatever so don't get nervous bestie I am NOT touching my natural nails with this bit this is a coarse drill bit and I got this one off of Amazon I will try to make sure to leave the links to everything um, in my description box in case you guys are interested let me know if this video is helpful at all and I'm just hoping you guys enjoyed today's video. So you're going to continue to see me remove um, the product as much as I can. And I'll be right back.
So the plan was to show you just one nail. I decided to show this one because um, I wanted you to see the thickness once I cut them down. So when you cut down the nail, obviously you're gonna have a lot of thickness on what is now uh, what now is your <laughs> your free edge. So um, you're gonna see me that I'm going to show you once I finish um, removing majority of the product, the difference on each nail. And um, again, um, after I am done with the drill, I go in with my hand file. Um, at this point, you didn't realize it because I cut that part off, but my drill <laughs> ran out of charge. So I had to finish the job with my hand file. It's something that you can definitely do with your hand file. You don't necessarily need a drill. If you don't have one, it's okay, bestie. You can totally do this with the hand file. It's just, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. Um, but you should be fine. At this point, I'm still not touching my natural nail. I am still trying to um, make the surface of whatever product I had even for when I apply the new product. Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys think so far. And if you have any questions, let me know. I, I thought of doing this video because I don't really often do uh, sets on my natural nails. And I think it's very important for everyone to see what I do um, in case there's something that you're missing and you can try it out. And it might be helpful to you. So if this video is helpful, let me know in the comment section below. So at this point, I had finished removing the excess product from all of my nails and now I'm going in with the actual prep. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just push back the cuticles. I am, be I am being very gentle. Um, it doesn't look like it because this video, it significantly sped up for, you know, length purposes so that it's not too long. Now I'm going in with my cuticle bit and I'm going to use my drill at 5,000 5, RPMs and I'm going to remove whatever dead skin it is attached still to my nail plate. Um, you want to make sure to do this. This will help you prevent lifting. Um, and after I finish using this drill bit, I'm, I am going to use the mandrel bit with a, I think it's a 150 sanding band. I'm not exactly sure because I purchased those a long time ago. I rarely use them. I only use those for when I do my natural nails because I have to prep my nails properly. So again, I hope you guys are enjoying this video and I'll be right back. I wanna take this moment and give my shout outs. So shout out to everyone who takes the time to watch my videos. Shout out to everyone who likes, comments, and share my videos. It helps me out a lot here on YouTube. Shout out to everyone who's new to my channel. Welcome to my nail crew, bestie. Thank you so much for joining the crew. Shout out to my lovely and amazing nail sisters. Thank you so much for your love, support, and encouragement each and every single day. I love you all so very much. And uh, shout out to the Queen of Heart Gel, Lisette. Um, I learned so much from her. Uh, if you don't know who she is, she is here on YouTube. She's absolutely amazing. Um, her name on YouTube here is Lisette Cruz. And you should definitely check her out if you are interested in learning how to work with Heart Gel. She was the number one inspiration and i learned so much from her and i love i love her <laughs> so definitely check her out so like i said before this is uh the 150 grit um sanding band and now it's when i'm starting actually to uh prep the natural nail so what i'm doing right now is i am buffing the surface of the natural nail i'm also kind of pushing back the cuticle a little bit more with the um with the drill um and this you want to do very carefully because at this point you're actually working on your natural nail you want to make sure that if you're using a drill it is um 
it's not digging in your nail that way you don't create any indentation or rings of fire um, be very very careful I am using this at 5,000 rpms or four I can't remember at this point um, but it is a low setting so make sure to be careful when you're working on your natural nails the purpose of this is only to just buff the surface of your natural nail and kind of blend if you already have product like myself kind of blend everything together and if you had any sort of lifting this will be the time to do it after i finish doing this then i'm gonna go in with the uh, i think i then i go with the nail cleanser and i oh actually no never mind <laughs> i can't remember <laughs> Now I am cutting the excess skin from my cuticles. You see, I am not very good explaining things because <laughs> I don't normally do this. So again, this is the second video, I apologize. But anyway, let's just go with the flow. I do have some excess skin on uh, my cuticle area. So you don't have to do this. Uh, there's different way to doing this. If you don't feel comfortable, you definitely don't have to do it. I just figure I showed you um, because it is something that I do and I wanted to show everything that I do on my natural nails. As you can see, that was a big chunk of skin. Um, so when you're cutting it, you wanna make sure it's that skin that you're cutting. So now it's when I go in with the cleanser and I will clean the surface of the nail, making sure that there is no dust anywhere in that cuticle area or on the nail plate. After I do this, I'm gonna go in with the dehydrator, Bestie. Definitely get your hands on a dehydrator and primer if, you, if you're able to, right? Um, this is just because when I first started, I didn't use it. I have it because Lisa sent it to me and it has worked so beautifully. It helped me out a lot to the point of not having any lifting. So dehydrating your nails and using primer, it is a must. Um, I don't have primer, but I do use the dehydrator and that was enough for me to have my nails last for three weeks with very, very little lifting to practically no lifting. So after the dehydrator, I'm going in with the rubber base gel. This rubber base gel, you don't need a lot. If you see my hand, it looks kind of shaking. It's not really shaking. I'm really rubbing the rubber base gel onto my nails. You want to make sure that you're not touching your skin at all. After you finish applying this, you can do a full cure for 60 seconds. In, my, in this case, I went with the low setting. Um, if you're not familiar with hard gel or gels in particular, you can experience what it's called heat spikes. So in order to prevent that, you can set up the lamp to the 90 second button, I believe it is, and that will gradually, uh, I don't know if that's the actual word, <laughs> I'm sorry. It will change the temperature from, you know, the light from, you know, brighter and brighter and you won't feel the heat spikes. That was very helpful to me and this is the reason why I'm telling you. Um, you might experience heat spike at this point if you go in just by pressing the 60 button or just sticking your hand in the lamp. So just another tip to help you prevent heat spikes, bestie. So... 60 seconds should be good. And then I go in with the application. So for the application, you will start uh, with the um, applying just a very thin coat. This is called the slip layer. Um, think about it as if you were painting your nails with polish or gel polish. Um, that's how much product you need on your brush. After you finish applying that, then you go in with the bigger bead. Um, so in order for you to move it, um, and this I learned from watching a lot of young nail videos, um, you can do circular motions. It was very, very helpful. And then you can start pulling the product down to your free edge. Your free edge does not need to be thick at all so that is kind of why you see it it gets starts to get thinner and thinner as i get closer to my free edge 
So now it's when this beautiful idea came to mind. I saw this on a video and it was very helpful. So I have done it ever since. It was brilliant, whoever invented this. I shout out to you. I don't know who you are. <laughs> it was very, very helpful. And it will definitely help you with your application. So um, what I do is I kind of pull the product to the sides of the nails and the free edge, making sure that it's nice and even um, without, you know, flooding your, your cuticle area. I really did not need it to clean the nails at all because that's how helpful using the nail art brush is. So when you're using the nail art brush, you want to make sure that you're lightly using that brush on top of the gel. Don't just go heavy handed and put a lot of pressure because then you're gonna pull too much product down. Um, and you have to use a very light hand when you're using hard gel. So you kind of get the hang of it after you know working with it for a while. I have to say I have been working with hard gel for over a year now. I know I still have a lot to learn. I, I learn each and every single day. But whatever tips and tricks I know, I can give you so that it's helpful to you. So if you think that this is helpful, let me know. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments. If you're willing to try it, let me know. And if you do, come back and let us know how it worked out for you. So right now, what you see me do is flip my finger upside down. This is just to help the gel self level towards the center of the nail and then I go in and cure. So when I was curing the nails, I didn't go with the 90 second um, setup. I did just do a regular 60 second cure and I didn't experience any um, heat spike. So that was pretty awesome. And I figure I'd let you know since, you know, I, I did told you previously to just make sure to set it for a 90 second. Um, so that you don't, you know, experience any heat spikes. And this is what the nails look like after application. Now I'm going back in with the nail cleanser and this is to remove the sticky layer from the gel. Um, you want to make sure you do this before you start shaping your nails because it will ruin your files, definitely. Whether it's the drill, <laughs> the sanding bag, or the regular hand file. So I'm gonna start with using an 80-80 grit. This ha I have used several times, so the grit is not really an 80-80 anymore. <laughs> you don't need an 80-80 
great hand file when you're filing hard gel. You can safely use a 100, 180 grit. It'll work beautifully it would work just fine hard gel is a very easy product to file so that's the reason why i'm telling you you don't need an 8080 i just ran out of my 180 grits and i'm just working with what i have bestie so i'm going in and filing the side walls this is just to make sure that the nails don't look uh too wide and uh, making sure that they're straight i also go in and file the free edge making sure that it's not too bulky either. As you can see, the application went pretty smoothly and the filing is pretty minimum. So this is why I definitely recommend you trying the uh, method using the nail art brush. It's very incredibly helpful. As you can see, the application went incredibly smoothly and there's very little filing to do. Um, but you still have to, you know, shape your nails properly and making sure uh, you do everything right so that you don't uh, experience any lifting. So I'm going in with this five in one drill bit. This is a fine drill bit and I'm going to use it at 4,000 RPMs. And this is just so that I can seal the cuticle area. Meaning um, I am filing um, all the product that is very close to my skin um, and that way this will help me prevent lifting. This is so important bestie. So do not skip this, um, this part, you know, you have to do it. If you don't have a drill, it's fine. You can totally do it with the hand file. Just have to be careful when you're filing your cuticle area. I'm telling you, cause I used to cut myself a lot with it. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm telling you. So then I go into the rest of the nail and I just make sure that everything is even and I don't have any lumps or bumps on the nail. Um, after I finish doing this to the rest of the nails, then I go in and I buff the nails. After I finish buffing the nails, I go and wash my hands. I will show you what the nails look like after shaping and filing. Then I go in with my top coat. So bestie, get ready for that finished look. And here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy watching today's video. Let me know in the comments why you think about this set. Let me know 
what you think of my application if this video was helpful at all please let me know in the comment section i would really really appreciate it um the reason i didn't um decorate the nails is because i do uh, my extensions on top of this so that's the reason i leave them natural but i think they look really really beautiful and perfect for work so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one love you bye